，梦境中的画面也可以作为创作灵感。有一位芬兰当代艺术家，最近他来台湾展览，他收集家人在半睡半醒状态中的奇幻梦境，将它编织在北欧传统的挂毯上。这位艺术家的平面图腾非常有名，曾经跟很多国际知名时尚品牌合作。丰富的色彩以及奇幻绚丽的图案，而这些挂毯散发出神秘的韵味。这是芬兰当代艺术家古斯塔萨克西的挂毯艺术创作。This piece is actually called a universal egg, and I wanted to use the egg as a, as a starting point for this because it's such a kind of like eternal kind of element in many mythologies around the world. They be used using an egg, for example, in 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 Finnish mythology, also in Egypt, they they use it as kind of like a like a beginning of the, of the Earth symbol, and I wanted to kind of like create my own kind of uh, star signs around it as well. So that's kind of like the story behind this work. 挂毯中出现像是蜘蛛、蝎子、蛇、蝙蝠等奇特可怕的动物，而这幅二零一五年刚完成的作品首次在台北展出。展览名称叫做“少少醒，少少睡”，因为艺术家的家人都有很难入眠的体质，他就在半梦半醒之间创作出一系列的挂毯作品。Well, actually,、uh, the inspiration for for my work actually comes from my family member who is suffering from this sort of like、uh, very colorful dream. So I'm, I'm actually kind of like interpreting her dreams into my artworks. 艺术家古斯塔以奇幻绚丽的插画深受时尚品牌的爱戴。这次他结合芬兰传统的编织手法以及电脑的精密计算，完成一幅幅构图复杂的北欧挂毯。When you combine the latest technology with the, with with handmade qualities, so、uh, I think it's、uh, you always end up having something something really great. And I I really like about the what I really like about jacquard technique is that like it gives me a lot of uh, uh, control, and especially when it's nowadays con- computer controlled, so I can I can kind of have a lot of um, uh, freedom with、uh, with materials and with different kinds of bindings, and like、uh, it really. Opens up like completely new world for me. 起源自十六世纪的欧洲挂毯融合了传统手艺及创新技术，艺术家呈现半梦半醒的奇幻梦境。